Given the very low economic growth in South Africa, are you able to find investment opportunities in companies that have a focus in South Africa? You know, if you look at the South African economy, what's clearly evident is that we've had about five years of sub 2% GDP growth. In fact, 2019 will be our sixth year. If you look at domestic companies, the, the growth side of things is really under, under pressure. So what we try to do is we try to look for companies where there's, let's say, a, a theme or some sort of dynamic that gives them the opportunity to grow their market share. Because in this very low environment, it all, be, all comes down to how you can take market share from other uh, companies. Um, and insofar as that's concerned, I mean, I can give you an example. Uh, one of the companies that we've invested in is Libstar. Um, and the dynamic around Libstar is really that they are uh, substantially exposed to the private label business. Um, and private label is a theme that is playing out in the South African retail environment. So if you look at the market share, private label makes up about 20% odd of um, what retailers sell. And if you look internationally, those numbers are closer to 40%. Um, and there's a strong move by the, uh, the big food producers, or food retailers rather, to increase that to from 20 to 30 odd percent. So there's a nice dynamic. You know that there's a flow of business that's going to come your way. Um, and we like that uh, from a top line growth perspective. Down the line, pressure will come as they get, get bigger and bigger. And the, and the uh, big produce, uh, the big uh, retailers basically uh, you know, uh, put, uh, place pressure on them to drop their, their prices but for now we see it as a great um, thematic.